Hey, what's up, guys? It's Leafy is Beefy here. And today, I feel like telling you guys a little bit of a story, okay? A little bit of a story back in elementary school, right? Now, a lot of you guys don't know this, but my elementary school was pretty fucking ghetto. Now, I'm not saying it was really ghetto. It's not like there was a bunch of fucking gangs hanging around at recess or something like that. Like, I can promise you guys that I wasn't just playing kickball one day and a car rolls up, fucking shoots all of us. I barely make it out alive. End up having to run for my life from this gang and stuff like that. End up homeless for weeks. End up having to join another gang. Like, that shit did not happen, okay? But the school had a ton of, like, funding problems, and a lot of people had behavior issues and shit like that, right? Like, that one time, I told a fucking story on this. I have a whole video on this. But there was this girl, get this, right? She was showing her titties. She's, like, in fourth grade for $20, dude. Just overall, dude, there was just a bunch of, like, weird-ass issues going on that when I look back on it, I just think to myself, like... Dude, what the fuck was going on? Like, the $20 chick in fourth grade? And then the story that I'm about to tell you, which I guess we can just go into it right now. Basically, there was a kid that used to shit on the floor in the boys' bathroom. Just shit on the floor. You know toilets? He was not using that. He would just shit on the fucking floor, dude. You know what many of you guys are thinking right now? Okay, okay, Leafy. He must have been disabled. He must have been handicapped. No, this guy was completely not disabled. He was completely normal. I don't think he was completely normal. I mean, he was shitting on the fucking floor. He wasn't using the toilet. But, I mean, at the same time, this guy chose to shit on the floor, okay? This was no, he was running to the toilet. He just got done eating a bean burrito from fucking Chipotle's. And he just started shitting his pants. That was nothing like that, dude. He walked into the bathroom. At least, I think. I mean, I, I wasn't there. I'm not really sure. But he walks into the bathroom, right? And he quickly thinks to himself, I could just shit on the toilet. Just like almost every other human being does. I'm sorry if you don't have a toilet. This is no disrespect or offense to you. Or... I think I have a brilliant idea coming up. I feel that light bulb. It's turning on. It's turning on. It's turned on. Okay, it's definitely turned on. I could take that nice bean burrito that I got from Chipotle's in my backpack and eat that right now and take a big diarrhea shit all over the floor. I think that sounds like a fantastic idea. I think I'm going to do it right now. Let me just squat down and let's do this. And this shit actually happened too. Everyone was like bewildered like the first time we saw the shit, right? Like it was straight up like me and my friends were going to the bathroom. There was a fucking pudding of diarrhea just right on the floor. Me and my friends were like, okay, well, I think I'm going to use the other bathroom. And people did tell the teachers as well. And I don't know what they were honestly thinking about this. But I can only imagine that the first time they heard about this, they just thought like, oh, well, maybe it was like a disabled kid. He just, you know, diarrhea on the floor or something. But this kept happening week after week after week. I guess it wasn't like persistent too. It wasn't like every single day there was shit on the fucking floor. But it was like once a week, there would be one day where there would be fucking turds in the middle of the bathroom, dude. But this goes on for like a month or two, right? When eventually they implement like a hall pass system. Now in middle school and high school, they always have hall passes in the sense that like, you have to write down when you leave the classroom to go take a piss or whatever, right? But they straight up added that in my elementary school just because of this issue. And do you think it fixed it? No, motherfucker, people just wouldn't write down the right time. But it went on for a little bit more, and I wish I knew the full story on this. But this goes on for a few more weeks when eventually, and I wish I knew the full story to this, I was hanging out with my friends, and they were like, yo, Calvin, I was like, hey. And they are like, you know Alberto? And I was like, yeah, I know Alberto. He's pretty cool. And he's like, yeah, he was the guy shitting all over the fucking floor in the bathroom. I mean, I think they caught him with cameras, but maybe, maybe there's something else to the story, dude. Maybe he went down to take a shit, and there was like a teacher hiding in one of the stalls, and as soon as he starts to squat down to take his Chipotle shit when this hero of a teacher battles alberto opens the door and fucking fights him to the death right honestly though even if this happened the real hero wouldn't be the fucking teacher wouldn't be the guy that caught him wouldn't even be the camera guy okay would even be calvin it would be the janitor okay i can only imagine like straight up guys close your eyes right now everyone watching the video everybody close your eyes i'm gonna paint a picture for you okay you're a janitor you get paid $6 an hour. You hate your life. Your wife left you because you make no money. You go to school to clean up after little kids. That's your fucking job. That's your fucking life, okay? You go into the bathrooms. This is the end of your day. You just can't wait to get home so you can just drink a beer and watch some TV. You go into the bathroom and you see this big chipotle, beanie, crusty, cottage cheese looking fucking diarrhea all over the floor. And you just stand there knowing that you can't run. Every instinct in your body is telling you, this is pathetic. You gotta get out of here. But you know, at the end of the day, that you need that paycheck. So you grab the mop, and you clean up this cottage cheese-looking diarrhea 
over and over and over again. Yep, week after week, you know there's one fucking kid that thinks it's hilarious to take a big fat turd in the middle of the bathroom that you're going to have to clean up again and again and again. And again. And I already know everybody's question right now, okay? It's, well, what happened with Alberto, okay? Did he get in trouble? What happened? How do you know it was him? Okay, so this is the whole thing that my friends told me, okay? They were in one of the classes with our, 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 whatever the fuck his name is, Alberto, okay? And the principal comes in and he says, Alberto, we need to speak to you. And he has him, the officer, and the janitor, okay? This is just according to my friends. They take his ass away. And I mean, I can only assume that they make him clean up this shit in the bathroom. I mean, I'm just saying, right? But on top of that, Alberto gets suspended for like a long period of time. Like, like it was straight up like three weeks or something like that. Like, it was really long. Like, I got in a fucking fight with the kid. I only got three days, right? But uh, the reason why I think it was him and the reason why a lot of other people thought it was him was because when he got in trouble and when he, you know, got in suspended or whatever the fuck it was... The shitting stopped. And when he came back, a lot of people went up to him and was like, Dude, why were you shitty on the fucking bathroom? What the fuck? He would always just make up these bullshit-ass excuses like, Well, I didn't get in trouble for that. I got in trouble for stealing crack and a baby and stuff. And it was crazy experience, dude. I was fucking like five prostitutes, dude. You have no idea, man. Looking back, it's funny, too, because they just kind of dropped it after this, too. Like, you would think that someone that did something like this, everyone would, like, know him as, like, Oh, that's the shitter right there. How do you want to shit on something right now, huh? I bet you do, huh? But after, like, only, like, three days of him being back and people, like, initially going up to him being, like, you know, why'd you do that? They just dropped it, dude. No, he wasn't, like, a loud person. And I think that, like, three weeks of suspension helped, but, like... You would think that that kid would be known as, like, the shitter kid. Alberto the shitter. Alberto wasn't his real name, FYI. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Leave a like to pay respect to the janitor, the hero. The hero that, you know, lost not his life. Not a fucking body part. Not even a loved one. But a piece of himself. A big piece, too. Holy shit. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the support. You guys are the best. And, yeah, peace, peace.